We have a quick video today on how to stream Xbox One games from your Xbox One console over to OBS Studio, um, which then can be used to live stream on Twitch or whatever you use. There's gonna be a couple of things you're gonna need first. First, you're gonna need to do is get, or at least you're gonna need to have Windows 10. Um, you're gonna need Windows 10 because you're gonna be using the Xbox One app, which is on the Windows 10 store. Um, that's gonna be your link between the OBS Studio and the Xbox One console. Um, you're also gonna need um, at least for me, I'm not sure you need a different way because it just fits my needs best. Um, you're gonna need a mic, um, might have us to be wireless, um, that has a USB that can plug into your laptop or wherever you're using your OBS uh, through uh, USB. Um, so for me, it's wireless. I have a wireless transmitter. That's USB it goes right into my laptop. Works great. I believe you can also use a wired one, but as long as it has UB or USB, um, because you need to be able to talk and uh, hear at the same time. Because if you just plug it into the headphone jack, you're only going to be able to hear. If you plug it only into the mic part, you're only going to be able to talk. Um, so you're going to need both. They're going to be streaming. So the first thing you're going to need to do, let me switch over to the desktop view here, so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to need to search for Xbox and it should be downloaded already. If not, you might have to go to the store and download it real quick. So it's going to load up. Alright. So the first thing you want to do is go down here, down towards connection. Um, the little Xbox symbol right above the settings. So then it's going to say connect to your Xbox One. So for me, I already have my Xbox listed here, but if it's not listed there for you, which it shouldn't, um, it could be though. You're going to have to hit add a device right here. And you should come up with your device here. If not, you're going to have to go on your console and find your IP address in there. And that's in the settings. And then put it there and then you can connect. Let's go ahead and connect. So it connects really quickly. Uh, first thing you want to do probably is you're going to want to hit test streaming. And once you do that, it will tell you based off your network quality and what type of PC you have and uh, how well your console runs and everything. It will tell you what, uh, what setting or what quality you can run your stream on. There's low, medium, high and very high. I recommend using medium. Um, I don't think you really need to go as high as very high and high. I can, like it lets me because I use Ethernet for both PC and Xbox. Um, so it's a pretty good connection, but I just use medium because I don't think there's much of a difference. Um, if only one of your, um, either your console or PC is on Ethernet or they're both on Wi-Fi, you may need to use low, but I would first try medium. Um, just check it out, but you can you can do high and very high if you have a good connection and everything and it runs okay. But for me, I know sometimes it's a little laggy and everything. Um, so I just use medium and it runs fine. So then you want to hit uh, stream. The stream will come up and it's connecting to your Xbox One, which should be on at this point. So this is the screen that should be on your Xbox One. Um, so you're going to hit continue here because you're going to be using a uh, controller through your console and not through the Xbox One app. So it's going to bring you to your dashboard because it's going to be whatever is on your uh, console. So the first thing here is there's a little bit of delay you'll notice. Um, it's like a few milliseconds from when you hit something. Uh, and the sound sounds also off by a few milliseconds, which isn't a big deal in most games, except for maybe Call of Duty or something like that. Like I was playing Call of Duty, and it, like I got used to it, I guess, and it wasn't like a big deal. But sometimes when you shoot, um, the sound of the gunfire be like just a little bit after the animation of the shot being fired. But in most games, it shouldn't really be a big deal. Like Rocket League, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal or anything like that. Um, so then the first thing you want to do after you get to this and after you sh your uh, console, the Xbox One app should be synced with your console. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to switch over to your OBS and I already have a scene for this. You're going to want to make a scene and it's called an Xbox. Um, that's going to have, uh, you're going to need the display capture. So to get to display capture, you're going to go here and then go to display capture, hit OK, um, and then size it however you need it. So this is my display right here. Um, so what you're going to want to need to do then is it's showing your display and so obviously you can go back over here and it'll have so then at this point I can't show you right now um, but it'll be showing this screen that's what, that you're seeing right now. Um, so if I flip over you can see it kind of it just disappeared right there. Um, so then from there you're good to start live streaming and you can just hit start streaming right away as long as you're linked up through a Twitch account and everything. Um, let me show you the settings that I use as well to make sure it's a good stream. So for output, since it's console, I believe I have my console at 1080p. So I use 1920 by 1080 for my resolution because I use a 1080p. If you use 720, then you're going to want to do 1280 times 720. Um, CBR here, and then 3000 bit rate and buffer size 2000. That's what works best for me. You can play around with these things. I recommend just putting in what I have right here, and, and if you think you can run a little bit better, you can move stuff up. 
play around with it. I took a lot of time to play around with it. Use very fast for the CPU usage. Um, and then audio, make sure the desktop audio device and the mic um, are set to your uh, headphones that are plugged into the USB. And so that way you can hear the game volume and everything. Um, because you're going to be getting the game volume off um, your PC through the stream on uh, the Xbox One app here. Um, so that's where you're going to be getting the audio from. And then you'll also want to be able to talk through it. That's going to be plugged through your PC. So that's where the audio is a little bit behind and everything. Um, so up here, you can change your quality if you like to. Let's see, I have it set on medium right now. You can stop streaming and whatnot. And that's just for the Xbox One app and not for um, OBS. Um, so that's how you get an OBS and everything. One other thing that I noticed that some people some people have videos on this, but they don't really explain everything too well and whatnot. Um, hopefully, I'm doing a good job. Um, but people don't explain how if you want to talk in a party, it doesn't let you unless you have at least the way I found it. And it's easy for me to do this is you have to have two accounts. So to have two accounts, let me just stop streaming off the Xbox One app right now. You're gonna need two accounts. This is my second account right here, Deska Toll. So what you're gonna do is this account, it takes about a minute or two to set up. Um, you just go on Xbox, create a new account. It gives you, um, Xbox will give you a default username, um, gamer tag. Um, and as long as your main account has Xbox One, Xbox um, Live, like gold, um, then the other one, the new one doesn't, and they can share it together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go onto here through the Xbox One app. Um, sign into that um, secondary account, not your primary account. Go to the parties thing right here hit start a party and there you go you have a party in here so you can even do it in the console but it will be on the console for that so what you're going to want to do is make sure you're friends with this account on your primary account and then on the console itself you're going to want to go um, to the parties um, to your friends section sorry and then go to the go to your secondary account and join their party so that way other people can join your party because if you only have one account and you're on here on this app using one account you're gonna have to stop streaming invite people and whatnot or join their party um, which is just kind of a pain so that way this account's on here to talk and whatnot and then uh, you can use the other account um, to join um, join their invites or join parties or invite people through the parties on there so you have to stop streaming or anything um, so that's all the main stuff, I believe. Um, I think I covered everything. How to, you know, talk through parties with people. Um, let's see. So over back on OBS Studio, you can uh, mess around with this different thing with the sound and whatnot. I used Mic and Aux 800 because I found it was a little bit low um, when it was streaming, at least. Um, play around with that a little bit. You may need to change some of your in-game stuff, um, in-game volume and whatnot, because it does play a little bit loud. Um, so the main stuff you're going to need to do is just make sure you have the display capture. It'll be covering your display. Um, and then make sure you're going to be using Windows 10 for the Xbox app. USB mic. At least you can you can try it without one, but I definitely recommend trying to get a USB mic. Um, that's how I found it to be best. And then make sure you have Twitch account set up to the OBS and everything. You'll be able to live stream right through. Good connection. Play around with the different settings. See what you know fits you right. Um, and it works flawlessly for me. So I guess that's it for the video. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment um, down below. And then my YouTube is paddywhack813. Uh, leave a subscription. This is my first actual video like I'm doing on my YouTube. Um, just starting it up right now, actually. Um, just started um, streaming as well. You can see in the top right, it says I have total followers nine. I just started. Um, so you can go ahead and also follow me on Twitch, too, if you want to see me. Um, I play different Xbox One games. Um, such as Call of Duty, Rocket League, I play a lot, FIFA, so I play different games and whatnot. Um, so if you want to follow me on Twitch as well, that'd be great. It's also Paddywhack813 on both YouTube and Twitch. Anyways, have a good one. Peace.